Well, I am attempting to head out to the greenhouse. Now, uh, the snow is up to my knees, so we'll take it as easy as we can. I'll grab this shovel here on my way to help steady myself in case I get on uneven ground, but also so that I can shoo shovel the snow away from the door of my greenhouse and I can get in to turn up my heat. Oh. Hey garden friends, welcome all back to Flower Patch. We are going to tackle taking cuttings from rosemary and lavender. They're both done very similarly and we are going to get more plants so that we can create our own topiaries with them, which is a lot of fun and or maybe you want to create a hedge. That works too. So let's get started. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and or share with your friends. It helps me a lot when you do. Alrighty, so starting rosemary and lavender from cuttings. Now I bought this rosemary from Lowe's the other day when I was there. This it was $9.98. I paid full price. There wasn't one on the sale rack for this. But what's great about it is it's full of lush green growth. You want nice tender growth for starting the cuttings. Now what's amazing with rosemary is I could take like this long stem here on the side, poke it out, cut it off, and I could get a few cuttings from it. And then the lavender. Now I was looking at this lavender. Now usually it's recommended that you not use the stem that has a bloom, but this one is loaded with blooms on almost every stem. Now this is a bloom that snapped off. So that's one stem I'm going to use. Now this one has a bud. So what are you going to do? Well, as I said, I just cut off the bloom and I go ahead and take the cutting and or I will attempt some of the side shoots. They're a little too soft, so I don't think um, they would hold up, but I'm going to try a couple just to see how that works. So We'll start with the rosemary. Now I'll get my nippers. I have two of these. One, this one's orange. You can see how it was orange. Now it's getting a little uh, dirty looking. But I'm going to nip off one of the cuttings. I mean, one, I'm going to nip off a piece of rosemary and show you how I'm going to treat it to um, get more cuttings from it. So, first of all, I'm going to hold you up closer, and then you see this right here, this one? I'm going to go all the way down to the base, and I'm going to nip it off. Now, normally it would have been sitting on the counter so that I could grab it or hold on to it, but... So, here is this piece. So, now I'm going to show you close up as I do this. So, here's my lavender stem. Now, these side shoots... They're still pretty tender, but I'm going to go ahead and nip them off and set them over here. I might try some of these real small ones. I'm just going to put in my compost bucket and call it good. So I'm stripping these off. The larger ones, see this one had a little bit larger stem, so I, was, that would, I could take a chance on that one. But you see how this is all green? Now it started to get woody down here. Um, and you don't want woody. You want the nice green lush stem. Uh oh, sliced into it a little bit there. Be careful, my nippers are sticky. They must have something in them. I need to get my WD-40 and give them a, squir a squirt. Okay, so we'll put those in the compost bin. I have a little bucket that I put things in. And you can see that this has a lot of nice areas to take the cuttings. You finish this off. Okay, let me see. This one, uh, this tip tip is just a little too green. So I'll nip that off 
And then I'm going to come down here below a node. There's going to be, there's a node and there's a node. See this? And I'm going to cut it right there between this node and that node. Now let me brush these out of the way. And so I'm going to continue to take these off. These little, some people use a knife. That's pretty easy to do too. And there you have a cutting with one, two, three notes. Now I'm going to put it where these two are below the soil. And then here's another cutting. So it looks like I'll only get two from this one. And I'm going to cut off this woody part. And this has, the nodes are much closer together. So even though it doesn't have any leaves, this one is fine to use for cutting material. So I'm reaching for my rooting powder. I'm going to put a little in the lid. And then I, li I like to use a paintbrush. This is an old paintbrush. And then I will just put it all over these cuttings, the nodes where the roots will emerge. And I'll set that aside. And I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. Well, I gotta be careful that it's gonna strip too much. And you see how much narrower this is? Um, I have my doubts about that rooting, but I'm gonna try it anyways. So I'm just gonna cut this leaf, this foliage off. And then I will paint it too with the rooting hormone. Now I could have a deeper container and dip it in there, but I, I won't dip it back in that original container because that will cause um, it to be to uh, get yuckies in it. Uh, I want to say corrupted, but that's not the right word. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now I'm going to. Here's my medium. I've moistened it. This is like potting soil. You can loosen it with perlite or whatever. This is actually um, a seed starting mix that I had put in here to start seeds, but it'll work for this. So I just made a hole with my paintbrush and then I stick my cutting in there. This is not quite down there deep enough. And I put it in there. So here's another one. And if I need to top it up, I will, but that's fine. I want at least two nodes beneath the surface. Now this is the one that's the newbie. And I will nip the tip out because I don't want it to focus on top growth. I want it to focus on putting on, whoops, I pulled when I shouldn't have. Putting on roots. So that is how I do the rosemary. Now the lavender is similar. So as I said, you see it's full of blooms. So I'm just gonna go and I'm going to nip off the bud. Sad, it smells so wonderful. And then I'm gonna go down to the very base of where it emerges from the, the plant, the stocky stem. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll lay you over here, lay the camera over here so you can see it. And I'm just going to trim away all these little side shoots. And call it good. I'll cut this one away. I'll leave this one on here so I know one is lavender and uh, the other is the rosemary. And I set my paintbrush down. So I've got the rooting hormone here. And here is the cutting. Now this one's Spanish lavender. Looks like I could put some more hormone in here. And all lavenders that I have found root the same way. And you notice this is green. This is not brown and gnarly. So it's green growth, lush green growth. That's why I had to buy. This is why I had to buy uh, a new lavender. All of mine hasn't really put out, have not put out the lush green growth yet. So. 
if you have to, you have to. And then I, I can attempt, after I take the cuttings, I can attempt to go ahead and start this one as a topiary, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So, can you see down here? Yes, you can. I'm just poking a hole, a nice hole. Sorry, forgot to turn off that camera. Um, into the medium. It's very, it's damp. It's a little too damp, if you tell the truth, but when I put it in on the light rack in my office where it's very warm, I have a fan blowing, it'll help dry that out really quick. And I'll take, uh, keep my eye on the moisture levels of it. So I will fill up this tray full of these cuttings. I don't need that much. And be good with it. So it's, I don't know if I mentioned it yet here, but we, it's snowing out there. We have over two feet. When I made my way out here, oh yeah, you saw. I'm sorry, I forgot. When I made way, made when I made my way out here, um, it was still snowing. I haven't looked out there. I'm staying in here, huddled by my heater down here, bus beside me. So I need to look. I don't want to take the main middle stem um, that I would train up. This one is like a very strong one that I may want to use, though there's some that are more in the center. So I'm just taking a good look at it. So this one may be a nice one to save as a main stem to create the topiary. Um, so I'm gonna cut these others around the edges. Beautiful specimen. Cut off the bloom, sadly. It does smell so yummy. And we will continue on. I'm just nipping off all the side pieces. And sometimes I'll just pull them off. That one worked. Sometimes I'm very careful because it'll strip too much of the skin, I call it, of the stem, and you don't really want that. Now I'm gonna nip, I'm gonna nip the very top out because it wants to put on top growth to go ahead and bloom, and I want it to focus on making um, roots. So I'm spreading it with the rooting hormone, and I'm popping it in here. So I'm gonna continue to fill this up. You don't need to watch me because it's all the same routine and it would get boring. So I will do that and then I'll come back and show you the finished tray and then I will show you where on my light rack I will put it. I will also put it on some bottom heat, a heat mat to help encourage it to get going even faster. Already, I have the lavender trimmed off as many as I can. You can see how many I have in here. I have three, nine, 15. So I have 15 cuttings. Hopefully they will all take. If not, even if half took, that would be fine with me. And I'll, I'll continue on with the rosemary as well. But I wanted to show you how I would make this into a topiary or, or get it started. Now remember, this is a long haul deal. This is not gonna be something big and beautiful in a short period of time. So this is a piece of bamboo. I had wrapped some copper around it uh, for something else, but that's what's on here is copper wire. And I'm just gonna put it in here as close to the base as I can. Now there's roots in here, a lot of roots. So you're gonna have to push very hard. Hopefully I can get it in there. Boy, these are, this is, one tough puppy. I should probably put it in a bigger pot, but I just wanted to show you how to do this. So there's my stake. 
and it's kind of going at an angle, but what I wanted was to secure this to it. Now I'm going to cut everything around the base away because I want it to focus on this, putting its energy into this one stem becoming the main stem. Now I'm trying to do it, i got to see everything here. See what I am doing. So I have to cut away all the other stuff, I, and i got to be careful not to sever that stem, because I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. So I'm just trimming this all away, and pulling away any leaves down here at the base. And here's some more little leaves down here, obscuring where this one's coming from. And, yeah. And I don't want it putting side shoots out below here either. I want it, here's the top two side shoots. I want it putting energy into just growing taller. So I'm going to shave these off down here. And I'm just going to hold it up here. Now, oh, I don't have any pantyhose strips. Normally, I would have little strips of pantyhose I had cut up, and I don't think I have any more in here right now. And that's what I would secure it to the stake with. And, um, yeah. I'm going to leave the bloom for now. Many times I would cut it off because I want it to put its energy into just growing the one stem. And as it puts on more growth, as the temperatures warm up, after the snow melts, you know, next week we're going to get to 75 degrees here. Or at least that's what's projected. Hopefully it holds true. And that's what will happen. So, okay. So I will tie this to the post, a little stake. And I will continue nurturing it. And as the stem grows, I'm going to be removing all this lower growth and, and keep at it because it will try to put out shoots from the bottom, et cetera. And though it was hard to do, because this was a beautiful lavender, um, to cut away all the blooms and whatever. But if you have an intent and you know how beautiful this could be, um, then it's not as hard as you think. And for $10, it was worth it. And if I somehow ruined this plant or uh, damaged it to a point that it died, I would have all these cuttings to make the same thing with. So um, let me look how tall this gets. Um, 14 to 18 inches tall. So that would make a really pretty topiary. Can you imagine all the blooms on top? Like if this was the stem and then you had the blooms on top, that's what I'm going for. So I will secure it. Um, I will probably, because this thing seems pretty root bound, um, I could be wrong, but I will pot it up and I probably will use one of my beautiful terracotta pots because I love it. Um, things in terracotta, especially like lavender and rosemary who like their roots to dry out a little bit and not be too moist. Um, that works perfect for them. So that's how I turn lavender into a topiary and it's not any different with the rosemary. It's the same deal. Oh, there's actually two rosemary plants, three rosemary plants in here. Okay, here's the ticket. <laughs> I will divide these into three into three different plants. And then I will go from there. So that is what we'll do here. I'm gonna finish um, taking some cuttings to fill this up. And then I think I will share with you in another video because I don't want this to get too lengthy of my dividing this out, the three plants. And um, how I'll turn it into topiary. Now, one of the ways, and I probably will explain it then, um, I could leave, it looks like there's more, oh, I see. Okay, I have been cutting it off. Oh, I will go with, with it then, and I will share with you in another to make the rosemary topiary. Lots of snow falling around here. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you didn't think I was torturing that poor lavender. And you'll come on back for more 
And we are going to be, I'm going to start some uh, zinnia seeds. I'm going to pot up my petunias in bigger pots so that they could be in hanging baskets and get started there. Um, I'm going to share seeding some um, alyssum. I already had some out there. And all of that. I have some spring planters that I want to plant up. I got some plants from the Lowe's and I have an idea for some spring early spring planters are mid spring by now. I don't know. Once the snow melts, I didn't want to have them get buried in snow. So I haven't done those yet. All right. I hope to see you in my next video.